it's Nadia, and today I have my friends Layla Hi. and Michaela. Hi. And today I'm going to be talking about facing your fears in business. Have you ever had a time when you had to face your fear? Yes, actually I have a lot of times, but I'm going to tell you one, one thing where I had to face my fear. Once when I was at a business fair, I was at a business fair once and I was so scared at first because I didn't know what was gonna happen and I didn't know if they were gonna like my products or not or if they were gonna get a bad result to it and I was really scared. That's one time when I had a fear. So Nadia, how did you get over your fear? I got over it by my parents helped me. When I started talking to them, I was a little bit scared. I was getting warmed up. But when I started talking to the people, I was like, can I introduce you in something? Or like, can I tell you about my business? And they said yes. And I was like, ooh, I like this. So then I went to the next customer and I was like, I'm used to this. I'm pretty used to it now since it's a second customer. So then I started getting used to it. So I had a couple of people who did not buy things. But I was totally fine with that. Not everybody can buy everything all the time. So Nadia, what's the benefit of facing your fear? Um, you should always face your fear because you do not know what's gonna happen until you try it. Because like I didn't, try, I've never tried the business fair before, and I was fine with that once I once I talked to the people. Remember to try things before before you just give up. So we have one of our quotes that says never give up, and that's what you should do. So once I started talking to people about getting our products. I started liking it and they were like, ooh, I wanna get this shirt rise. I wanna get this for my family. I might give it to my mom, my dad, my my grandma, my my brother, or for Christmas. So and that's the benefit of the of facing our fears. So Nadia, how do you control your fear if something goes wrong? You can control your fear by just taking a couple deep breaths in. Like if you have something like screaming, scream in the pillow for like five seconds. Like see, I have this blanket. Done. See, that makes me feel better. So Layla, can you can you say a time when you faced your fear? Yes, actually. Last year, I was in the musical Peter Pan Jr. at our school, and I had the role of Wendy, which is a really big part for me. And I was freaking out because I felt like I was going to mess up. I was crying. I just got really scared because I didn't want to ruin the whole thing for the audience or forget my lines or be off key on a song. But then the, te the teachers that were with the musical and some of my friends helped me calm down and then they just told me to go out there and gave it my all and I did. And then people were saying that that was the best show that they had ever seen before and that I did a really good job. So then I felt really good about myself and I overcame my fear. Good job, bravo, give a hand for Layla. <laughs> When I sold your play, it was, well, mind-blowing. I think you were the best one in it, actually. Thank you. Wow. And that's another thing that goes with Nadia said. You never know what's going to happen until you try, and it might turn out as a good result, and it did. <laughs> so, Michaela, can you say a time when you face your fear? Yes, actually, um, me and my friend Ryan had this big recital coming up, and we actually had to perform on stage. I was really afraid because um, at our practice, she was sick that day, and I didn't know if she knew all the steps for it, and I was really nervous to go on stage, but then she actually found out how, it, um, how the steps were because, like, our own coach, she really helped her because she was like right next to her and helping her. So, yeah. how did you feel? I felt really happy for her because she got all the steps right. 
Good job. So to wrap it up, always remember to try things before before you don't because you never know what's going to happen. You usually get good results. Fear is another reason to keep trying. Instead of letting fear run over you, just take it and knock it out the park. What doesn't kill, kill you makes you stronger. What doesn't kill, kill you makes you stronger. stronger. Thanks for watching. If you want us to make more cool videos, then make sure to subscribe and like.